So uh, this here is just simply a very simple uh, orthographic projection and it contains a front elevation. This is our 3D. It contains a front elevation which is this whole surface here. It contains an end elevation which is looking in this direction of the set of stairs here and it also contains a plan which is looking down on whatever the object is. So I'm going to show you quickly how to draw this. Uh, first I'll just go over the basics. So your uh, the front elevation which is this here is always drawn along with the um, with the end elevation is always drawn on an X Y line or you could consider this line to be the ground in which the object is sitting on uh, now this here I think the Americans do it differently I think they put their they rearrange things but this is the European method so stick down your sheet like usual using the 2B pencil sorry using the 2H pencil is really what you should be using but for the purpose of this I'm using a darker pencil so you, what you do is you start off with the X, Y line, as you can see here, X and Y. You don't have to mark it, but sometimes I do. I'm just going to make this uh, 9 for the width here. It's going to be about 9, okay? And all I'm going to do is project up. I'm going to project this up about 6, but you can come up with whatever... Uh, if you want to try this at home, you can come up with whatever measures you want. I'm actually going to quickly do it in a lighter pencil and I'm going to go over the heavier one. Because uh, really that is how you do it. You go lightly. First of all, construct your lines and then you go heavier with the same pencil. And it, from there onwards, you can point out what you actually want shown. So it's important to try and get the lines as neat as you can because um, if you're doing this for examinations or something like that you will get docked marks if your lines aren't neat and if you're not showing construction lines so it's always good to have your construction lines showing. Also they help probably within future a lot of the time. So there you can see quite simply that there is this set up. See, that there is this shape. So in order to get the plan of it looking down, in order to get that plan looking down, we simply just project these lines down. And you can go down as far enough that you will be able to measure in uh, the width of your object now. Uh, you start off with the outermost lines of the front elevation. And you draw them down or you project them down. Okay, we're going to make this uh, 5 centimeters is going to be the width. So 5 centimeters is going to be how wide every step is here. So I'll just pencil this in for you. Obviously I'm not taking my time here, but do if you are at home. Now that would just be if it's a rectangle, but as you can see we have little steps on it. So all we have to do is we have to project every one of these lines down as well and you will then have as you can see you then have your steps here 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 there 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 okay to do an end elevation we will extend that previously drawn x y line over further as shown so the extension is here. We have drawn down here a 45, must be 45 with a 45 degree set square, a 45 degree line. And in order to get the end elevation of this object, which would be this, we must project this up here basically. In order to do that, we take our 45 degree line and we move each of these line, the corners, we project a line until it hits into that 45 degree line. Right here and here. We then project upwards, crossing the XY line. See? Project to the 45 line, go upwards, 
from the 45 degree line. We project upwards. We can then get the height, which has already been determined from us, the top height, and all we do is we simply just swing that across. We can get the next height if, if we want of the stair, because it's already been determined from us. Project. We can get the next height. It's been determined. Project it. We then simply just construct the shell of what we have just drawn. And we are left with the end elevation, as you can see.